Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company RPG Show. This one is going to be a straight out of the box lay. I'm just gonna be showing you guys some of the items that I received in the package, which is a flyaway tamer and then also they included this new hairstylist book and it just shows you all of the styles that each stylist has created. You can definitely check that out on the website. The unit I will be showing you guys today is their Yaki layered wig. I do have it in the length 18 inches. This one is in the cap size one, and this is a lace front wig. It comes with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable straps, and they also do include an elastic band that is sewn onto the unit. Okay, we are going to go completely glueless. Yes, no adhesive or glue needed. I'm just putting on my wig grip. If you guys have not seen my wig grip video, I'm gonna make sure to leave that down below because if you want your wig to stay secure and not be slipping and sliding, I highly suggest having a wig grip in your collection. So I wanna show you guys what this hairline is looking like straight out of the box. Now, of course you can go in and do some extra customization, but for my beginners who don't wanna do anything else, I think that this is completely fine. You also get your six inches of parting space and you don't have to worry about bleaching because they do the job for you. Lace is very easy to cut off. This is their tinted transparent Swiss lace and I have it in the color medium brown. I wanted to clarify that for you guys because sometimes you guys ask, well, which color do you have? And I feel like that one blends the best on my skin tone. So I am gonna go ahead and elongate the part. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle. Now you can part this on the left or the right and you get plenty of parting space to do so. And if you don't wanna use a parting space at all, you really don't have to. You can definitely throw this up into a ponytail or even achieve like a flip over if you want it kind of like the messy look. But I'm gonna be using that flyaway tamer and placing that by the parting space area and taking my hot comb. This is from Kendra's Boutique. You wanna be very careful with this hot comb because it does go all the way up to 500 degrees. And then I will be going around the hairline just to kind of make sure that it is nice and sleek. One thing I forgot to add to the top of my unit was my heat protecting spray. So I made sure to put that throughout the rest of the unit. And I usually always do that off of camera, but I wanted you guys to see everything I am doing. Now, all the products that I am using can be found down below in the description area. I usually would take my Kaposi flat iron to flat iron big pieces when I am rocking straight wigs, but it's not in the room with me today, so I decided to just break out the baby list. Now, I spent a good amount of money on this one, so you would think I would use it more, but I like the way that the Kaposi works also, and I feel like they both get the job done. It took me no time to flat iron this unit, but I did notice on this one side that it is not as plucked out as the other side. So I wanted to kind of open it up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull out some of that hair in the front and then just pluck. You guys see, I did not go overboard with the plucking. I still wanted it to look nice and natural. And then I'm going to take the wax stick and just kind of brush it back using my edge brush. Now taking my Ruby Kisses powder, I'm going into the hairline and also into the parting space area just to brighten it up and open it up and make it look more realistic. And then when I am done doing that, I'm gonna go in with my Anti-Frizz Serum by Garnier Fructis. And this is going to help control any type of frizziness or flyaways. Was a little bit of shorter hair still sticking out on my end so i'm going to be using my olive oil fix it hole spray and just running that throughout the top to kind of control them and keep them down and voila i am done get into this layered look
definitely easy for me to style and it is so beautiful. However, I want you guys to stay tuned to hear my final thoughts on this Yaki Layer wig. Before I give my final thoughts on this week, I hope you all had a happy new year and I hope that you all are doing well. I took a much needed break, but I am refreshed. I wanted to come back with something simple and easy and this one is from RPG Show. This is their Yaki Straight Layered Wig. Now on the website it says Flip Layer Yaki Straight Wig, but this is really pretty and you can definitely see the layers in this. And I could have bumped it a little bit more, but I didn't want to go too harsh with it. But let me see if I can kind of comb it out so you guys can see the way it's laying. But look at that. Look at those layers. Like, they did that. It looks really good. But yeah, look at that. Super pretty. Let's start in the length 18 inches. For me, with Yaki Straight, 18 inches is the longest that I would want to go, especially to make it easy for every day. Now this does start at the length 14 inches and then it goes up to 20 inches. Of course, the higher the length, the more money that is going to be added on to this unit. This is also in the natural color and I feel like it doesn't look too dark. Now on the website, you can get this in the color one, three, four, and then you have this color option to choose from. The density on this is 200%. Now I prefer their lace front wigs just because I do love the density on this. Now if you were to get like a full lace option then of course the density is not going to be as heavy. It's going to be on the more natural side for those who do not like a lot of hair. But I really do like the density on their lace front wigs. And this one is a 13 by 6. Now on the website you can get 13 I believe by 4.5. I'm going to make sure to leave all the specs down below so when you click on the site you can kind of play around with the options that you may want. But the parting space on this looks really good. Now I did have to go in and add some powder of course because I do have my wig grip on underneath and it was coming off dark so you really couldn't see it. So I wanted to put some powder in to just open it up but I did not have to tweeze the parting space which is good. You guys already know how I feel about RPG Show's lace. Like, it is on point. I have nothing negative to say about their lace. I just feel like it blends in so well. You don't have to worry about when you're outside, you being clocked, just because it just lays down. I mean, I mean, y'all see that? It just lays down really well. Even though this wig is beautiful, I do have some cons with it. And one of my main cons is just the shorter pieces that I noticed. Up here, I did have to go in with my fix it hole spray and run it through my combs to just kind of lay that down. And then back here, I am noticing some shorter pieces. So I had to take my wax stick and really kind of lay it down a little bit more. And I do suggest really going in with some serum. I'm using the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum just because it does protect against any type of freeziness and it helps to kind of tame it down. So that's one thing I did notice. As far as like the hair texture is soft, very easy to run my fingers through. Um, however, because I have had their Yaki texture before, you are going to have to make sure that you condition it really well over time as it gets older. Just because it does start to feel dry. I could not get my words out. It does start to feel dry. Um, and then for me, it does start to get a little bit tangly at the ends as it gets older. As of right now, it's very easy for me to run my fingers through. I'm not noticing any type of snags. Let me see. In the nape area, I'm not getting any snags right now. And then I only had a little bit of shedding and that's because I went in on the sides and cut the lace down, but the shedding on this is very minimal. Now, this definitely puts me in the mind frame of April from my first wig. Only this one definitely has more density and it has more layers in the front. And this one is more on the pricier side, so. Just warning you. If you are interested in this wig, guys, I am going to make sure to leave the link down below in the description area and let me know what you think about this wig on me if you are feeling it and if you are loving the layers in the front. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on, share, and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.